sure is whining. <laughs> yeah. Hello. I see you, but I don't see us. There huh. we go. <laughs> I do a baby. That was probably Loki. <laughs> he wants me to do it again. Hello. I'm just a puppet <laughs> on strings. No. <laughs> oh, great. I'm getting goofy. Gosh. Okay. Okay. Hi, Zara. You are watching. Oh, you need to find me on um, Facebook now, on the computer, too. Let me skip you. Now, do I not have this on Shut Up? Okay, shut up, shut up. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm getting there, people. Just relax. Chillax. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Okay, come on. Oops, I'm trying to see where I can, can I, where can I share this to? Wherever you want. Okay. Alright, we'll go down to 80%. Alright. Okay, there we go. Why can't I share to my page? It says write a post, watch party, copy link. But then I have to exit out. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah, that, that's probably not a good idea. <laughs> what? To exit out? Well, not not on my computer. On... Oh, okay. Hi, Nathan. Hi, Nathan. I can't see you, but I will be shortly. We're getting there. Yeah. A little bit of uh, work to get there. <coughs> Please share us out. Hi, Henning. I can even put my glasses on. I, I just oh, see I it. forgot my glasses again. I'm having glasses problems, though, with the right. Yeah, you need a new prescription. Yeah, I do. <laughs> All right. Oops. All right. So we got announcements. Yay. I know you're <laughs> all looking forward to that. It's <laughs> I'm sorry. That was. Yay. <laughs> it, was, it just cracked me up. Oh, my it's goodness. Not our services, so y'all just listen up. <laughs> yeah. Darn it. Darn tootin. All know, right. I know you guys are going to Facebook pages of people you know that do readings and you're not looking at their services. So this is how we counteract that. We tell you what our services are. Yes. So, you did this to yourselves. <laughs> yes. If you would just look at our services, then we wouldn't have to go through this every time. <laughs> That's no. <right. laughs> Okay, and I'm snorting, and uh, away we go. That just means you're part of my special group. You're you're in my intimate group. You're, it means I love you all. So that means I'm comfortable. So, <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, so first we have the Galactic Collective Healing. Um, what we do is Zara and I tap into your energy field. Um, it's energy work. Uh, we tap into your spirit team, your higher self, your spiritual team, your galactic ET spiritual team. And we uh, see what's going on energetically. And uh, we... Um, Cleanse out, uh, we do any activations that are needed, cleansing out any dense, stagnant energies um, that are not needed to help smooth out the ascension symptoms, the ascension process that is going on with the new wave of energies that are coming in right now. So it'll help, it'll calm and smooth the transition out. Um, that service is January 18th at 2 p.m. And that's a group of three at $33.33. $33. Um, 
and and it's a really good group and we have a few spots available so you should uh pm zara or i for that so we can start up a dialogue and then uh, we have the chakra quantum healing which is on the 25th at 2 p.m that's a group of seven at 11 11 dollars and what we do we enter in your energy field and see what's going on with your chakras see if uh we need to align um balance uh replace um that sort of thing and see what all needs to be done with your uh energy um it's really a unique individual uh, based on a on an individual basis. Um, so again, that's January 25th at 2 p.m. and that's a group of seven. Um, and there's uh, quite a few spots available for that. Um, and then uh, we have the Spirit RS team where we tap in with we work with Eric Medhus, and um, we. Okay, I forgot what I, what that. Take it away, Zara. <laughs> My brain froze. <laughs> yeah, we might want to touch on what ascension symptoms can be. It could oh, feel right. like you're coming down with the flu, but it never materializes into the flu. Headaches, body aches. Um, Slight temperature. Um, nausea, sometimes vertigo. Um, yeah. You know, it just basically you feel like crap and you feel like you're coming down with a flu but you, it never gets any worse than just an uncomfortable kind of achiness and feeling. stuff <laughs> so, like you got the crud yeah or something yeah, yeah. that's what um the galactic collective healing is good for us to smooth out those energies so that they're not so harsh and uh so you have less discomfort you may feel them, but they're not going to be like, you know, you may feel that there's something going on with your stomach, but it's not going to be nausea, you know, so. It, instead of it hitting like a hammer, it'll flow smoother. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So then um, next we have the light language Reiki. Um, this is a new modality that Metatron has been working with me on for the last couple of months and Brianna and I um, uh, are collabing with this and it is really intense we've been um, testing it out on people and their experiences have been overwhelmingly positive and loving and uh, great overall I would have to say <laughs> yeah so what we do is we uh set an intention we tap in uh, we connect hearts uh spaces through the bubble then we uh, do a light language transmission we do a merkaba grounding and then we begin the session and that's where i get quiet and i go out of my body and we uh, all three of us, if there's more than, you know, if it's just me, Brianna, and somebody else, or if there's five of us, whatever, um, we are put into some kind of uh, shape, where it's sacred geometry or light language or whatever it is. And then um, after that, um, I come back in, and usually there has been a light language transmission after that, um, but I feel like that won't always be the case. So we end uh, with an infinity symbol, and then uh, we end the session, and um, we share our experiences with you in a report. Uh, we have done grids hold cards and Brianna if she feels led by spirit she'll do one of her light language drawings which are really beautiful and unique to each person so you won't see the same uh, artwork for more than one person so that's really uh, great to have that and then um, we also have another collab service called Spirit Teams Are Us. It's where Eric Medhus and Brianna and I tap into 
your spirit team to tell you who your current active team members are. And depending on what you're going through, um, you do have stationary uh, people on your spirit team. But other than those stationary, others come in and go out simply by an experience, by a thought, by a feeling. Uh, more come in, some go out, some come back, some never come back. You know, it, it all depends on where you are, what you're doing, and what's happening. Um, we can do a, a report for sixty dollars, a video for fifty, and seventy-five for both. So, um, if you're ever interested in knowing who your angels are your ascended masters, anybody on your team who's guiding you through this life, uh, this human experience, then um, that service is great for that. We've had really good experiences with that also. And I have a magical mentor class. Um, this is a class that uh, basically you get to pick what you want to learn. Is it oracle cards? Is it crystals? Is it intuitive reading is it sensing energies you know it's basically whatever you want to learn it's um, forty dollars for ten days I suggest that it not be ten consecutive days because you need to practice whatever it is between our meetups so we need to uh, set up appointments um, and usually one or two a week uh, is usually pretty good depending on what it is and then we go from there and then I have a seven card pull reading which is um, seven cards of any of my decks which uh, ranges from uh, crystal mandala dragon cards secret language of light uh, magical Dimensions, Angel Answers, Crystal Angels, Light Worker Deck. Um, either you can pick, I can pick, or we can pick it together. It doesn't really matter. Um, the reason uh, that it is so much is that what I do uh, with my cards in these lives isn't really all that the cards have to offer. There's affirmations, there's meditation, there's healing processes that are associated with these cards but if i did all of that in my lives i would only be able to read like two people so that's why i don't do everything during the lives um it is for 77 dollars and um you just message me and we set up an appointment and we go from there yeah all right Wahoo. So, done with the announcements. Now for the how to's. Everybody be behave and listen up. <laughs> okay, so today we're talking about grids, crystal grids. Woohoo! All right, so uh, for those of you that don't know what a crystal grid is, oh, you got your book there too, Brianna? Yep. <laughs> Okay, this is like an example of a crystal grid. And this is what Brianna's holding up is a grid um, plate. Yep, that you put the crystals on. Yeah. And um, this is a really good <coughs> the ultimate guide to crystal grids. It is very extensive on how to take care of your crystals and stones, how to... Um, set up a grid, a space, cleansing, uh, elixirs, um, you know, and it doesn't have to be on a grid plate. It can be just on a natural surface, like a wood yep. table or, or, or like on somebody. Person. Yeah. It can be, you know, it, it can be a lot of things, you know, like here's another one. And it will tell you what the shapes are for. Like the sunburst that I just showed you is um, energizing grid. So there's stuff in here, energizing, revitalizing. Um, the spiral is vortex energy management. Um, 
the square is balancing and solidifying so there's so much information in this book it's really a good comprehensive book and if you have trouble with the crystals then i recommend this book but and they're both just, just this one book because it's even though it's pretty thick it's obviously not even close to having all the crystals in here <laughs> and it's they're both by judy hall yeah there's more than uh, one volume of this, so yep. by the same person. And of course, you can find stuff online all the time. If um, a grid calls for a certain kind of crystal or stone and you've never heard of it or don't know what it is, then you can look it up in the book or online. Really easy peasy. And um, grids can be for just about anything. It can be attracting love. It could be attracting money. It could be for clearing a space it really all depends on what your intention is and how you set it up and and everything like that so um like have have your intention set while you're setting it up and write it down on a piece of paper and then set it underneath the center stone of the center of the uh grid yeah. <laughs> And um, they'll also tell you to put some kind of crystals on the um, top and the bottom or on the sides. I know um, somebody I know used to use uh, selenite and place chakra crystals on top of it, on the top of the of their uh, grids. So um, anybody have any questions about crystal grids that you have that you want to ask? And I think if we lost, left anything out. Well, um, a little bit of history of the of sacred geometry or crystal or gridding. Um, it's said that uh, sacred geometry was realized by the Greeks and is also thought to supersede time and space continuum. Um, and grids are found throughout everything uh in life such as nature plants if you look at flowers they have little grids in them um you know uh light language um like this is the flower this is the flower life grid um there's metatron's cube grid um there's you can google google it um grids uh Geometric grids, uh, flower life grids, um, Google grids, and um, uh, metaphysical grids, and um, it'll it'll just a, a astronomical amount of grids will pop or up. Sacred, or just sacred geometry. Too. Yeah, sacred I've geometry. Done that and just printed out the most basic black and white. There are that I found that had color in it, so I printed those out, but. Um, any basic shape will do and you can yep. freeform it you know you can go by what the book says you know you don't need a sunburst um no. outline to make a sunburst you know it could be a simple circle or spiral or something like that so yep it's very um they're fun to do and and they um they work so <laughs> you know yeah me Yep, make sure you have like a sacred space, like a space set aside that won't be disturbed if you set it up. And there isn't an allotted time like that you can have it set up. You can have it set up as long as you want it set up. Could be a month, could be a day, could be however long until you, your intention has been met. Um, so, yeah. And you can check it with your pen with a pendulum or you can douse it with your hand like this uh, to see if it's still active if you feel positive tingles or positive energy then you know it's still active and if you don't feel anything or if the pendulum doesn't swing or it swings <clears throat> no then you know that that uh, grid is no longer active so you can either um clear it with uh, tinctures or sage or whatever you use to clear your space and reactivate it 
and uh, and everything. But the book explains everything about that. Uh, <coughs> uh, yeah, so that's that's pretty much grids. They, it covers a lot, you know, because it and it also doesn't have to be crystals and stones. It can be flowers, it can be twigs, artwork. Uh, the only thing I ask is that if you get something from nature, make sure that it's not attached to the earth when you pick it up. Just something that's fallen off a tree or flower that's fallen on the ground. Don't pick something that's still attached and growing from the earth. Get something that um, Mother Nature has discarded to, you know, naturally compost, yeah. compost into the ground. Um, pine cones, leaves, you know, whatever it is, you know, just make sure that, and it's always nice to ask uh, the energy in the area if it's okay that you take these things too. You want to be respectful of the uh, elementals and uh, all those beings. So, okay. So are we ready, Freddie? I think they're ready. <laughs> oh, I forgot to say I have a couple of services. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, um, I have light language artwork that I'm doing, um, $17 a piece. Um, it's on an 8 by 11. I will send it to you via a messenger or um, email. Um, it's attuned to you and for you, um, just like the light language reggae. Um, if I do a drawing, it's for you specifically. It can activate you. Um, and then rogue healing. Um, it's a, it's a custom. Uh, it's a on an individual basis. Um, it's uh, all the modality modality. <laughs> <laughs> all my modalities combined. Um, it's yeah. it's just uh, basically I tap into your energy. And I figure out, or I see what your energy is saying, what you need, um, and I do it, um, or I channel it through me, and um, it happens. Um, it could be blue fire fusion um, with Pleiadians. It could be transmutation, um, chakra healing, alignment, um, gritting. Um, it's it's endless possibilities so and that's 55 55 on an individual basis need so go check out my services pm me do what you got to do all right i'm done well, channeling healing her page yep yeah all right Hi. okay let me Hello. here's my okay i will uh take down names so laura would like a card or a message Okay, hold on. I think, let's see. Nathan and Henning. Are you still here, Henning and Nathan? Sherianne uh, is here. Caitlin is here. Jot down if you want to write, if you want a card or a message. We'll just. Hi, Julie. Oh, there. Did you want a reading today? Sorry about the cough, guys, ladies and gents. <laughs> it's okay. It's a form of releasing. You have some stuff to release. Okay, so who... Uh... Okay, Nettie would like a message. Okay. Erica's here. She wants a message. So Laura, Nettie, Erica... Henning still here. And, uh, okay, Henning. does Henning want one? Yeah. Gosh, yeah. I am really releasing. Yeah, I've been yawning and burping like a mother today. <laughs> always when I go live, too. Well, I was yesterday, too, and this morning, but it's always more so when I go live. It's like they're getting us ready. Yeah. Nathan would like one. Okay. Okay, let's start with that. What time is it? Okay, we'll start with, um, I have Laura, we have Laura, Nettie, Erica, Henning, and Nathan. We'll start with that, and Julie, we'll do Julie, too. 
we'll okay. go from there and then um once we're done with julie we'll see how much time we have and go from there okay. thank you okay. So first is Laura. Yes. Okay. And I'm pulling from um, the secret language of light and magical times. And uh, if I pull from my decks, I have magical dimensions and angel answer cards. Right away, I feel throat chakra, like she needs to release or, um, and I'm getting a little emotional. So I feel like she needs to speak her authentic truth. Um, she needs to release something. Uh, she needs to say some things. She needs to spew. <laughs> Not spit. <laughs> no, spew some yeah um words i was getting uh high energy emotional um and excitement which seems like an odd mix but uh i'm not gonna judge that right is what it is but um yeah so if you feel like you uh need to speak up uh, you could always try a red room. That's always helpful. Um, or you can make it your scream room. It could be your happy room, your fuck off room. It could be any kind of room you want. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, definitely really... some anxious I feel though her crown is wide open. I feel like energy is coming in and she needs to release. Like as it comes in, she needs to release um, what um, some dense uh, stagnant energies that no longer serve her. And I'm feeling it in her jaw like she's clenching. Is this, um, oh, she's in the middle of a move. No. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's not fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Moving is always uh, stressful. Yeah. And I pulled some cards. I pulled um, Inward Revolution. And it has the strands of the DNA. And I feel like um, go within your heart. I'm hearing go within your heart. And uh, I also got focus. Okay. Hmm. Right. I got celestial assistance, which is angelic messages, guidance, and enlightenment. So it definitely feels like uh, spirit is trying to uh, show you a way around uh, some of the more stressful things that are going on in your human life <laughs> right now. Um, Be sure to breathe into it, is what I'm um, hearing. Breathe into the anxious feeling. Um, breathe in light, exit out uh, the anxious energy. Ask for your angels to assist you 
to show you a better way to do it. Um, let them guide you to where you want or need to be. And this doesn't just go for the move. This goes for, uh, it feels like a, there's a situation um, other than the move that is um, in, a, in play here. So yeah, I would definitely um, take advantage of the guidance that they are really trying to show you at this time and write it out. Okay. Does that resonate with you, Laura? I'm also hearing the Galactic Collective healing might be good for her too, to help. Yeah, yeah. We're doing that on the 18th if you're interested. PM either Zara or I. If you're interested, but I'm, I'm hearing that would help. Yeah. Some of it does. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Kimmy. Kelly, we have a list, and um, if we have time, you're you're after Julie, but um. We're stopping at Julie if, if um, we don't have time. Okay. Um, is that all you got for Laura? Uh -huh. Okay, that's all I got. I just feel like they just keep re it's coming in and coming out. Yeah. Nope. And also, okay. if you donate, you get booted up, or not booted, but you get um, to the top of the list. <laughs> <laughs> booted. You're pushed up to the front yeah, of the line. Yeah, pushed up to the front of the line. Thank you. I have problems. It, it, once you get to know me better, I, I have problems spitting out my words. It's... it's... <laughs> I don't mean, <laughs> yeah, anyways. <laughs> Anywho, Nettie's next. Nettie, okay. Hi, Nettie. You still here? Thank you, Nettie. You're welcome, Laura. I'm seeing someone with dark hair. I think we did this last time when we did a reading for Nettie, and it's someone native. Sacagawea. Cool. Yeah, yeah. How, how do you say your name again? Sacagawea. Sacagawea. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's just I can never say her name. Saka. Saka? Jahuya. Jawia. Jawia. Saka Jawia. Saka Jawia. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's one of her guides. Yeah. Okay. Well, she's present right now. <clears throat> yeah, she's very strong and very um, kind of in your face. <laughs> yeah, she's <laughs> kind of like. <clears throat> <clears throat> She's closing up my throat. Okay, S Sita? Is that how you... S I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, but hello. Nice to see you here. Welcome. 
Hello, Heidi Harm Harmon. I um, need my glasses. <laughs> um, I feel like she is uh, being very protective of her energy. She feels like ultimately she's pretty um, content with how things are going uh, for Nettie. Um, she's honoring her human experience, but keeping her spiritual uh, energy in play. Um, feels like, you know, she's uh, opening up new opportunities, um, reaching out to more and more people, um, and through that, helping more people. You get anything else? Um, I pulled a card for her, but um, I'm also, I agree with you, but I also feel like she has something to say. Like she wants to speak through Nettie. She wants to, um, you mean she wants to channel? Yeah, she wants to say something. She wants to channel through Nettie or through you? I don't know. <clears throat> Ask her. <sighs> oh, ouch. Yeah, she's just very happy with, um, it, she does want to say something, but it's what you already said, but she wants to reiterate. <laughs> She's very happy with the way things are. Oh, my throat's feeling better. <laughs> and she wants me to read this card. Okay, adversity. See the gifts in challenge. One can be taught within the calm, but the greatest lessons are learned from the storm. I also got a card. Challenges. <laughs> oh, wow. It's all about honoring your human experience, Nettie. So whatever that means for you, usually it means, you know, in our human emotions, tough times, um, emotionally, physically, energetically, uh, tough times ahead. But, um, never fear don't waver because she is very strong and she's holding you up and supporting you completely through all of this so that feels really good loving and supportive and very strong she's just god she's so strong <sighs> She's all up in my jammy and it's just crazy strong. <laughs> I see her kind of like putting, stomping her feet down like one at a time and like. Yeah. <sighs> and also if you donate, um, say that you donated so we know as well and then you get ahead, ahead of the line. Um, and then, um, yeah. So overall, Nettie, I feel like you're on the right path. You're going ahead with things. You have opportunities coming up. You have challenges, of course. You've got to honor the human experience of it all. That's why we're here, <laughs> right? So, um, and... You know, Sacagawea, she is not going anywhere anytime soon. So, totally uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Very uh, meaningful and deep connection between the two of you. Very much so. 
She's quite a little powerhouse, that one. <laughs> I actually have a transmission coming through of light language. Okay. For Nettie. Aya soya saya kaya oya haya. Aya soya kaya hoya saya hoya saya hoya. Aya kaya saya kaya haya hoya haya hoya. Aya saya hoya kaya saya hoya. Hoya saya kaya saya hoya saya. Hoya saya kaya soya haya. Okay, that's all. Oh, that feels better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go, Nettie. <laughs> okay, the next is Erica. Um, are we doing newbies ahead of other people or? Usually newbies should go first, yeah. Okay, then um, should we go, should we do, uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. Um, set, seta, set, siete. I, Seta. Seta. I think it's Seta. Bef okay. She's new, so. Okay. All right. She would like a reading. I have a lot of angels coming in. Yep. I have um, Archangel Michael and Gabriel and uh, Uriel. Yeah. You too, Nettie. I love you. Mwah. You too, Nettie. Thank you for coming. I hope that transmission helps you. Oh, Cheddar. Cheddar. Okay. Cheddar. All right. Thank you, Cheddar. Oh, Cheddar. Okay. All right. Um, and I feel like um, they're also assisting with the new energies coming in. They are keeping a very close eye on things. But also, um, I've been seeing this a lot the last couple of weeks. Angels are just really, like, really close. Like, really close. Like, in personal space, close. <laughs> you know? Like in their bubble. Kind of, they were here, but they weren't, like, you know, right here. You know? Now they're right here. They Usually they're, like, you know, like a good yeah. arm length away, but still very present. Um, I'm getting pressure in my ears so I feel like they are really um, talking to her and helping her through guiding her yeah yeah are you hearing uh, these angels uh, Cheddar or getting humming in your ear humming Maybe a little bit of a vertigo. Um, maybe. Yeah, lightheadedness, vertigo. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes it can come in as ringing in the ears. Or even headaches. Mm. It can be high pitched. Whoops, sorry. It's okay. Heidi gets that a lot. Yes, I feel pressure and humming. Okay. Yeah, I feel it like right in here and here. Yeah. 
they're like all up in your grill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> Um, they, it feels like they're trying to have a new relationship with you and they want to be your best friend. <laughs> That's what they're, they already are. Well, they're trying harder. They're, they yeah. want her they're to know to that they're there. Yeah. yeah. More interactive relationship with you. So it, next time. If you are quiet and you hear a voice that's in your own voice, a little voice in your head, and you don't know where it's coming from, that's them. And if you're not sure about it, ask them to repeat uh, a yes and no question. Ask them a yes and no question. Ask them to repeat it three times. Okay. If they repeat it three times that's them if it's only one time that's ego or yourself okay so um yeah because i i keep seeing this right up in your ear <laughs> so um that would be nothing but great for you as far as uh, guiding you because it seems like you uh, could really use the guidance at this time as I'm trying to navigate through this. Uh, it's it's almost like you have to like go like this, like, hello, kind of <laughs> weed through. Um also, if the headaches and the pressure get too strong, you can ask them to stay close, but back off the energy, kind of wean, um, tell them it's too strong. Yeah, yeah. Because they sometimes they don't realize how they affect us in our physical bodies. Yeah. They just are, you know. Spiritually, we can handle it, but. About the energy, the spirit, they're not thinking about the human side of it as a physical body per se so um but i'm sure you probably feel them touching you on your face on your hands that kind of thing and it definitely feels like they want a more interactive more communicative a relationship with you so if you're on board with that just um, practice listening to them when you have a quiet moment, you know, ask them a yes and no question and wait for the answer and see where it goes from there. Um, an angel would never tell you to do anything that's against your free will. So keep that in mind also. Um because sometimes ego likes to uh, parade around like an angel, <laughs> but it's not. So, um. I also got the card of healing. And if you can look, it's angels wings. They're by you. Yeah. They're with you. Definitely very close. That's for sure. Um, there's actually um, a channeling course coming up in March, I think, on Leadership of Light, if you're interested. Yeah, that is a really good class. Yeah. It's how me and Brianna met. It's yep. how I got started. Um, it kicked the door in for me as far as my abilities. I would not be doing this right now if it wasn't for that class. I just yep. know that know that and all the people that you that are mentoring the class and the students are so loving compassionate non-judging and supportive nurturing it is the best environment to learn you go at your own pace you do what's comfortable for you if you're a slow learner then you're slow if you're a fast learner then you're fast there are no star students it's all equal. There's nobody above anyone else. Um, we all help each other. That's yeah. 
we all help each other you uh, you will be encouraged to go live with another student or by yourself pulling cards or just doing intuitive readings maybe you could do uh, angel channeling but um, essentially it's a channeling class yeah and so you'll be learning how to channel um, those kind of energies and once you get into that you can channel healing energy you know great grandpa and grandma <laughs> you know whoever you want to channel uh it ready um, your energy for that heidi wants to know how much it is is it a flat rate or um i think it's uh a two week or a month course for 155. so yeah sure go uh, leadership go, of yeah. light page under services it'll be under their cosmic channeling course it's an awesome awesome class i can't mm -hmm. promote it enough it just really is all that in a bag of chips <laughs> and maybe a eclair <laughs> <laughs> yep. Or if you can't find it, PM either Zara or I afterwards and we can help you out. So. Yeah. yeah. All right. So do we have anything else for Cheta? <sighs> Eric's chiming in. Yeah, I felt him come in a little bit ago. He said, let's do this. He's telling me she's going to rock at this. Yeah. She's already so connected to her angels. She just, it's like she just needs to wake up to it. And yep. Fine. Tweak it. Awareness. Yep. Yeah. Tweak it. Tweak that communication, that relationship. <laughs> He's so funny. Tweak that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, why don't you PM one of us afterwards and we can talk to the host that's hosting it, Cheddar. Yeah. It would be Rebecca McCann. Yep. Awesome mentor. She's just phenomenal. Yeah. She but is. she does. Yeah. All right. All right, who's next? Erica. Erica, are you still here? Well, if there's a way, there's a how, or if there's, if there's a how, there's a way. If there's a way, there's a how. <laughs> I don't know. I forget. What? <laughs> I don't, if there's a way, there's a... What's that? So how does that saying go? If it's meant for her to be there, she'll be there. Yeah. The universe will conspire for her to have the money. Yeah. And time to do it. Yep. Set your intention for it, girl. I just got a high pitched noise in my ear. Really high. Ooh, what are they saying? It's just a noise. Oh, okay. A high pitched <laughs> kind of. But it, it sounded like a high pitched bell in my ear. Maybe we need to clear. Oh, I did that before. As well. <laughs> I know, but might as well. That's the way I took that. I excuse myself all night. Okay. I'll do both. There's a will, there's a way. Yeah, yeah. yeah where there's a will, there's a way. That's, ow, that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> we can keep Brianna from giving herself a concussion with her mom. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a dorky, dorky, dork. As my friend and I have a saying, we say dorky, 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 dork. <laughs> okay, Henning is next. Henning, or wait, no, Erica. I'm getting ahead of myself. Erica. Woo. <laughs> No. <laughs> okay.
Right off the bat, I'm getting pressure in the back of my head and my neck. I don't know if that's her or if that's spirit trying to come through. Or go I'm out. getting um like an ache in the back of my neck, and I feel like it's um energy is coming in through the back of her head and not the top like it's coming in at an angle so that would be what the the well of dreams chakra yeah okay. i actually didn't know that 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 that, that <laughs> what is what that was but i was just playing along <laughs> that's what that is though well, I know there's one in the back of the, the head. Okay. I didn't know that. Yeah. I was just going to act like I was playing along, but it's okay that I don't know stuff, so. <laughs> right. Live and learn. Um, and I do feel like it, 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 it is related to her dreams, her dream work. She's a dream walker. Does any of this resonate with you, uh, Erica? Do you know this about your uh, dream state? Are you conscious of your dream work? Do you remember your dreams? Have prophetic dreams or psychic dreams or vivid dreams? I feel like she's a daydreamer too like she does it when she's awake because i'm feeling very like uh dream like disorientated um not disorientated but um very uh loopy yeah like i'm here but i'm not here very uh so kind of yeah. out of body yeah very out of body experience like yeah. astral projecting like she's a dream walker so you can astral project and leave her body and kind of watch from different angles and can you like do you remember stuff like if there was a shelf at a high angle that you can't see can you look above that and know what's up there or something. I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I just feel like there's a shelf and there's something on there that you can see. But if you woke up and took a, this doesn't make any sense to me. If you woke up and took a, a step stool or something and looked up there, the item would be up there. Does that make any kind of sense? Are you picking up on that, Zara? I am picking up on something because I feel like my eyes are out here. They're not in my head. They're, and they keep going back and forth and it's kind of messing with me a little bit. <laughs> I'm like, what's happening? <laughs> so. I don't know what the shelf thing is about, but maybe they're just saying that she can... Maybe it's an ability she's not aware of yet. Yeah, I think they're just trying to use that as an example. They're trying to tell me that she can leave her body. And she's doing it while she's awake. She needs to ground more. Or... Yeah, yeah. Um, I feel it in the back of my head too intensely. Oh, that's... Okay, Erica. I... Yes, I feel foggy. I'm not sure. Okay. Um... She does dream a lot, though. So it's almost like it's she's overactive. Yeah. In her upper crown, in that that she's foggy. That's why she, you know it feels like I'm out of my body. So I would definitely suggest grounding. Uh, try to do more. Yeah, try to do more lower chakras. Is is whether it's walking in nature taking a salt bath um, doing visualization meditation for grounding uh, holding a piece of wood or 
that will help to not feel so out of your body and foggy headed. That will help a lot. Um, also, you can ask your spirit team before you go to bed that um, if you do your dream work, that when you wake up, that um, you, your human and your spirit are merged, that there's nothing floating outside of yourself that you are merged so you can go on with your day because it may be great to be a dream walker but if you've got a job to do <laughs> you got kids to take care of you need to be able to do that in your body you know that's the importance of ego to keep us in a state where we can get in the car and go somewhere so um, just ask them to merge your your spirit and your body uh, before you wake up so you don't have to be in this dreamy state all the time. And um, if you want to work on being a dream walker, then uh, also talk to them about that. Say, you know, guide me to where I need to, um, where do I need to be with this? What's my next step? What's my next step? Okay. Um, I do feel like there's a lot of guidance coming up for you, though. Um, and it can't be easy to try and honor your human experience when you have all this stuff going on that you're trying to experience and you're in this dreamy state. It, that can't be easy <laughs> at all so uh, ground talk to your spirit team let them know that you know you need to get things done and if uh, you want to become a dream walker and actualize it then have them tell you what your next step is but you need to be integrated when you wake up your spirit and your body need to be one when you get up. Um, Maybe when you go to bed or when you, before you get out of bed, um, set an intention that your, your body and your soul are integrated as one, as Zara was saying, um, to be fully present. And I also feel like she's having some I mean, this is physical, what's going on with her as it is spiritual, but I feel like she's having some vertigo or something with her equilibrium is going on too. So she may want to go to the doctor and get that checked out. Because sometimes it is an energetic thing, but it's always good to know if it isn't. Mm -hmm. you know? Um. But I do feel like your spirit team is very much in tune with uh, what's happening in your life right now. And they are guiding you. Um, and you can, you can talk to them and ask them what your next step is in that genre too. Say, you know, I'm having a hard time with this. What's my next step? Or you can try handing it off to them all together. Say, you know, this is too much. I can't do this all by myself. I need to be, you know, I need you to take it from me or show me a better way, an easier way. Um, and embrace the lesson of those uh, challenges and release the programming that um, is attached to that because you don't want to you don't want that hanging around and festering. You want to embrace the lesson, re release the program, you know, the energy behind, the energy and the emotion of that experience. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right. So I feel that that will help you a lot, but definitely, uh, be listening to your nudges is what I'm getting to is be, synchronicities be, yeah synchronicities in your nudges uh, be looking out for those synchronicities you'll know it because you'll feel it in your whole body feels like 
it will get your attention. And uh, the um, nudges are your guidance. So when you get a nudge, whether it's, you know, I need to leave this place now, do it. Don't second guess it ever. Just do it. Even if it, it's not convenient or it doesn't seem right, just do it. You just don't know what's happening, what is going on. You just need to follow your nudges, okay? All right, I think that's all I have. That's what I have. Okay. Hope yeah. that's helpful to you, Erica. Okay. Henning is next. Henning. Then, um, oh, oops, sorry. What? I was asking if he was still here. Um, and then we have Nathan and Julie. Okay. Oh, I actually started getting a headache. Now or before? Um, as as tapping in with Erica, I was getting more and more connected and feeling more. Wand so I had to back off. Wand yourself. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, headings here. You're welcome, Erica. I'll let you do Henning, and then I'll start tapping into Nathan. I'm getting tingles all over. I know what that means. <laughs> Oh, hang on. Oh, shit. Is it ocean? Yeah. Oh, shit. Come here. What? I just... Shango, go see daddy. Where is he at? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Hang on. Okay. Children don't want to go to bed. Uh-oh. Sorry it got quiet. I just... Uh, some I'm, light language art just came through and I'm kind of getting spacey. <laughs> No problem. Okay, Henning. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. Heart portal is what I got, which is receptivity, generosity, and mistrusting. I got empowerment, which is grounded strength and stamina, and celestial assistance, Ooh. which is angelic messages, guidance, and enlightenment. <laughs> Thank you, Heidi. Um, are you still here? Okay. 
Um, I think the heart portal is very significant of your situation right now. I think it's more of the mistrusting right now. But I do feel like um, you are getting a source of empowerment. You are staying your ground. You are not buckling. You are not giving in to um, energies that quite frankly, are not um, of your vibration. They are not of your frequency, so therefore they uh, may fall away or they may get really good. It, it all depends on the free will of everybody involved. And the celestial assistance, this is Cecilie. Clear and simple when I pull this card I would getting chingles all over she is all up in this and I'm getting them now <laughs> uh, she's all up in this situation and she says that she is giving you nudges also <clears throat> To listen to your nudges, it's it's got a lot to do with her, but also your spirit team is also there uh, helping you, guiding you um, through this situation. <coughs> you know. I'm feeling pressure in the back of my head too, like um, yes. where the skull sits. Yeah, she comes in and then down. Okay, that's that's how it feels with her. Yeah. Okay. Um, I gotta take my glasses off because they're steaming up. She's making me very hot right now. She's making me burp. <laughs> um, she shows me that she is touching you. I don't know if you understand what that feels like. It sometimes it'll feel kind of like you have a hair brushing against your skin or a bug crawling on you it's just very light it's like the best way you can describe it is it's like somebody's touching you but without the skin it's just energy it's just energy that goes like this or goes like this. tingles or sometimes it's on the fingertips just very lightly um she loves you and the boys very, very much. It's actually making me really emotional. Yeah. She, I'm, she's not happy about what's happening with the family. But she's saying also remember they uh, have lost, they're grieving. And they are not acting in their best manners. But that, um, and if you feel that you need to move away, then do so. But she is just, he's got my, my, my lower arms are really tingling now. And I'm getting very warm. Um, what does that mean? Um, did she used to hold you on your lower arms, your forearms? 
somehow. Yeah, I was I was gonna say it feels like she's holding. Yeah, it's like weird, caressing or um, like. Yeah, it's it's strange. It's not normal, not the normal way of feeling it. Uh, right. I get. But um. She's, you know, she's saying you have to uh, honor your human experience and go through this the way you feel you need to. Um, that sometimes uh, the situation that you're in uh, can bring people together or tear them apart. And it could be that it's apart now, but may mend later. Uh, so just keep an open mind an open heart uh, that everybody involved is uh, also grieving um, even though she would like everybody to stop grieving she's exactly where she's supposed to be she's happy and she loves you all so very very much um, She says, I left on my own terms. I left on my own terms. Um, and she says, you know me, I wouldn't have it any other way. I wouldn't have it any other way. And she doesn't see it as leaving you because she's still there. She's just not a physical form. But she's, she, uh, she makes me feel like she's surrounding you and the boys a lot and holding you and touching you and giving you nudges along with your spirit team as what is the next step for you and everything so be really paying attention to your nudges um, do you understand what a nudge is I'm not sure that you would understand I'm trying to think of how to explain it a nudge would be like say you're going to Um, get in your car and go to the store. For some reason, you get a feeling that you should not get into your car and go to the store. Even though your ego, your mind is saying, you need milk, you need bread, you need this and that. But something is telling you not to get in the car. That's a nudge. Okay? That's, some, that's your inner guidance letting you know that there's something you don't need to be a part of in that experience. It's not for you. It's not meant for you to actualize that experience at this time. Okay, so listen to your nudges. Okay. All right. Do you have anything? Uh-uh. Yeah. Um, I just, I have a poster up here and for some reason I am drawn to the, I see the, the eye, and the cycle of, of life, eyes wide open. Yeah. I don't know what that means. <coughs> I'm drawn to it for some reason. I think, um, just that she's there and she's helping them through. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely is she's more up in that than they realize i think yeah so I, I couldn't take my eyes off that so she sees she sees and she's there and she's helping yeah, yeah. so all right Henny. i need to put my glasses back on okay nathan 
All right. All right. Love and blessings to you and the kids. Thank you for letting us read for you, Henning. Yes, thank you for coming by. Always glad to see you. Okay, Nathan. Nathan, you here? <coughs> yeah, he's here. When you said he's here, I felt like spirit was here. Obviously, spirit's here, but I felt like somebody's particular when you that said that. That's for Nathan, yes. Okay. Doing a whole lot of something, but it's a it's like a potpourri of all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I feel like there's there's somebody particular that wants to speak, but it's all jarbled like in a puzzle form. There's I don't I don't know how to explain it. I'm going to pull a card. What deck should I use? What you're drawn to. I pull from this deck. Should I pull from this deck? Okay. Do you feel a lot of confusion right now, Nathan? Because it just feels like there's just stuff floating around in your energy and it's like it's like, I, I don't know how to, it seems like it's all scattered and it's unorganized and it's just kind of. <laughs> that would make sense. That That's, yeah. Um, I pulled confidence. Be bold, rise up and stand tall. Feel the fire in your soul. Confidence. So maybe um, there's a lack of confidence. I'm going to pull a card too. Um, and then I pulled dignity. Take pride in yourself and all that you have become. Feel honored by your choices, achievements, and actions. So maybe he is just, that one's kind of, well, you can see it. Um, maybe there's just confusion. You're like welcome. you said. Man. Um, oh. I don't know. I feel like those cards aren't really. Yes, qu quite a time going in different directions now. Would now would I feel like those cards aren't right. <laughs> I think confidence would lack of confidence would uh, yeah. Would, confusion uh, and then I got heart portal in isolation what the heck's going on with you he's confused about something so that's why it's a mixture of cards okay right, we're gonna fix this all right so let's tap into his spirit team. I feel like his throat chakra is going wonky and his heart is hurting. I feel a strong sense of emotions. 
Yeah. I feel like sometimes he feels suspended and is lost. Yeah, suspended and animated. Confusion and... Yep. It just... Okay. And I'm getting congested now, so I feel like um, there's some dense stagnant energies there. That's adding, like, creating the dense fogginess. <sighs> yeah. Spirit, we need to pull it together. We need to get it organized, compartmentalized for him, please. So we can give him a reading. A Nathan, clear. can you ground? I feel like you need to ground. Yeah, are you grounded? Plant your feet solid on the ground and say, I ground myself. And kind of like... Whew. Or if you have a grounding stone or something, bring your energy down and plant your feet on the ground and bring your energy down through the root chakra, down through your feet into Gaia. Have your feet grow roots into also, Gaia. Yeah. Also, Nathan, I don't know, are you into EFT tapping at all? This That would help. Move that energy. Get it organize ask for focus you know this helps so much uh just have the intention of getting the chaos organized okay because it, it just feels like it's out of control and Take one situation, it one thing like at a time. Dr. Seuss, Alice in Wonderland mm -hmm. kind of <clears throat> chaos. It just nothing in particular, everything at once. I will ground. I usually do it in the morning. I should try in the midday or whenever you feel like you need to. Yeah. Ask your, your team to help you, uh, you know, if it say, okay, I'm, I'm lost, I'm confused, I need to hand this off to you because I can't, I'm not able to pull it together here by myself. Either show me a better way, a next step, or take it from me. It's really hard to read you right now. It just feels like there's just shit flowing around in your fields, and it's just it's all it's chaos. Crazy. It's crazy, and I can feel that spirit is trying to articulate a message, and it is getting lost in the mess. Oh, it's like it's coming in, and then it's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's the weirdest thing yeah it's i've known really is like a dr seuss alice in wonderland yeah. rabbit hole stuff <laughs> wow it's crazy 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 pull it together for him please maybe that's the message pull it together and ground that's the message that we can only give right yeah. now uh, are you into the uh, EFT tapping Nathan because that will help that will help the energy move out because even if he is supposed to get it together He's going to need assistance with it. I'll pull another card. Are you pulling from Magical? Yeah. Okay. You just started learning? Okay, good. Good, good, good. Uh, just have 
you don't have to get caught up on the verbiage because I know I do that too. It's like, what do I say right now? I just tap. I just think about my shit and tap. Yeah. And let it flow that way because that's how it works best for me. <laughs> and I also breathe into it too. When I breathe, I breathe. Okay. Directly. So I inhale. Because I'm getting rid, I'm getting moving that energy out. It's got somewhere to go. It's going right out my mouth. So what did you get? Let go. <laughs> Let, Let go it go. <laughs> and go <laughs> What's transformation. Awesome. So it looks like you will get a handle on it. Because <sighs> we're having a really hard time trying to yep. articulate all this chaos. And I'm not getting any card. Oh, there it is. Sacral portal. Creativity, intimacy, inhibition. I don't know. Either he has to go to the bathroom or I do. <laughs> okay, so definitely uh, ask for assistance if, and tap on it. Okay, because it just seems like everything is all at once and it's just all scattered in your field. Once it's organized, the transformation will begin, the downloads will begin, and you'll let it go. That That's what could be, that's why, because if he's blocked here... And his chakras, this stuff can't integrate in where it needs to go. Yeah. You know, I would say, yeah. You know how they have the lottery balls in that big yeah. ball thing and it, they're whipping around and stuff because of the air and stuff? That's what your energy is like right now. Is these little things are just kind of whipping around, just kind of. Like, where am I going? Where am I going? Where do I belong? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good, Ethan. You might want to check out the chakra quantum healing, too. Yeah, that could help, too. Yeah. Anything that has to do with the chakras, that's a really good one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Was there somebody else? Or? Yep, the last one is Julie. And then I think that'll be it because I have to use the ladies' room. Go ahead and go. Well, no, because then I got to take everything down. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'll wait. Right. Thanks, Nathan. Thank you, Nathan. Okay, Julie. Oh, Julie, are you here? Yeah, are you even here still? <laughs> yeah, she's here. Okay. Oh. Right away I got dizzy. Yeah, same here. Oh. Huh. I'm thinking third eye. Yeah, kind of like right in here and yeah. Kinda... Hi Amy. Hi Amy. <laughs> I feel like she is getting downloads. And I feel like this is the way they're affecting her at this time. And it may be bottlenecking a little bit on her. That's why it feels like... Uh, um. 
I just, I'm just i getting... Whoops, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a massive headache because of it. I would ask them to back off. Lessen the, the intensity somewhat. I also feel big changes coming. I feel like the first thing that came to me was career or... Yeah, job. Job or something like that. Um, a new opportunity is going, is coming. Will present itself. Yeah. Yep. Um, I don't um, feel like you're expecting this to happen. It'll be a surprise. I feel like it'll be an increase in uh, income somehow, whether she's saving money or... Um, it'll be an increase. I don't know what, but it'll be... Excuse me. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I burped. Oh, okay. That's Bruh. why I said excuse me. <laughs> okay. Hi, Deborah. How's it hanging? <laughs> hey, Deborah. Um, I do feel like opportunity yeah knock 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 her with career i don't know if that means you're going into a career or there's big changes within the career opportunity is also a big word that keeps coming up um opportunity is knocking at your door <laughs> knock, knock, if knock. you accept it yeah, free will, always yep. free will. But that, that's exactly it, what it's, I'm hearing. It does feel um, soon. It does feel uh, overall good, but I want to say you need to pay attention to all the details uh, that are involved. Heidi. <laughs> no, that's okay. I can only see what she said. said we can wait if you need to pee. It's not good to hold it. Lots of laughs. So that has to be uncomfortable. <laughs> well, she has to take down her whole wall there behind her to get out of the room. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a maze and stuff. So. Oh. So do pay attention to the details. Find out all the information you can before um, this opportunity because there will be, it feels like there will be some, um, an area to wiggle what you want in this uh, somehow. Finagle. Um, whether it's your pay or benefits or there's something there that you have room to wiggle with so um, yeah I really I feel like I don't believe this is happening I can't believe this opportunity is here and uh, it's not something that I was expecting and it just feels uh, very surprising very soon I would say and you're going to come back and you're going to say, holy shit, they were right. <laughs> <laughs> um, they want me to say six months. But it could be six days, six weeks. You know, something with six. Yeah. Synchronicity, synchronicity is two a six. I'm hearing that'll be your sign to follow. Yeah, yeah. I just, yeah. It feels very strong. Very, it's, it's going to. Uh, you wouldn't have seen this coming. I don't think. It feels very surprising to me, very new, very like 
maybe you had asked for it a while ago and you didn't think it was coming at all because it's been a while but surprise <laughs> right yep. i'm here and eric eric is here uh oh yeah i'm hearing hello my baby hello my darling do 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 <laughs> Eric, Eric Medhus and I always, he always gives me songs. So. Yeah, yeah I know that much. Yeah. <laughs> so does um, this resonate with you, Julie? I need to put my glasses back on. Ugh. Oh, there's six people watching right now. Oh. <laughs> there's a number six. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Synchronicity. I didn't even realize that. I don't see her. Oh, I just got lightheaded all of a sudden. Okay, it resonates with you then? Okay. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Be sure to pay attention to the details in the wiggle room. <laughs> all right. I think that's all we have for her. Huh? Yep. Yep. Okay. That's it. Well, in two hours and 22 minutes and 26 seconds. Oh, you froze. <laughs> So yep. we are getting out of Six. here. This so. is way more than an hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is what we had normally uh, would have gone for. So um, thank you all for coming and letting us read for you. And have a great rest of your day and also a great weekend. I will be going uh, live on A Place to Heal tomorrow. Um I think it's 7 p.m. my time, uh, which is Brussels time. So uh, it'll be noon central time. Yeah, around the same time as now, or an hour earlier than today. So um, if you want, uh, you can come and find me there and uh, we'll hang out. Yep, and check out our services. And if you liked how we've read for you, you can always give us recommendations on our pages and yeah. what have you. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Yep, 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 yep. Absolutely. Yeah, you can always write a recommendation for our pages if you um, if you feel that the reading was worth that for you. Okay, so um, have a great weekend, and we'll see you all later. Bye. Bye.